Hey gang, welcome back to our channel. I'm Paul with Stud Pack. Jordan and I are happy to be back in Louisiana after our 10 day trip to Washington. It was beautiful up there. We got to see mountains and waterfalls and snow in late April. It was unbelievable. Beautiful scenery, but we had to come back and get back to work on our entertainer's remodel. And you know you're getting close to home on a jet when you step on that jetway and the humidity hits you in the face. If you live in the South, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Our drywall finishers have a couple more days here. They absolutely killed it. This place looks amazing. We're gonna have a full reveal after this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that next one. They have a couple more things to do in the laundry room behind me. They'll be here tomorrow to wrap up, and we'll be sure to get that video out to you as soon as we can. But today's video is about our sprayer. When we were in Washington, we basically flipped the house in 10 days. Less than that. Yep. And we sprayed the entire inside, and my future son-in-law actually bought a brand new Graco X5. We were gonna rent one, but they're only like, $330 up there. So he said, let me just buy one because I'm going to have other houses that we're going to paint and maybe some furniture. And it was a good time for me to show him how to use it. So he bought one and we used that to paint the inside of that house in one afternoon. On my first trigger pull on that X5, I knew it was different than the X7 that we love so much. I had no tailing or feathering. I had a full pattern. We had no drips, no spitting and no clogging. I never once had to flip the tip to clear a clog. And it got me thinking about my X7. How can the X5, which is a step down from the X7, spray so much better? So I did a little research and I realized this thing needs some maintenance. And this goes beyond cleaning after you paint. So last night I got out the manual that came with this thing and I started reading up on the maintenance of this. Now, I always knew this had a filter in it. Honestly, gang, I didn't know where. I didn't know if it was in the pump or in the handle. I felt kind of bad about that. You got this expensive machine, you don't even know where the filter is, but we've just been using it. It's been doing a great job. And I realized that there is one filter on the X7 and it is in the handle. So instead of talking to you about it, and sh I'm just gonna show you what I found. I've got a 13 16 wrench. A crescent wrench is fine, or channel locks if you're willing to mark it all up. It's not even that tight. We're on this paper because I have the blue pump armor in the gun. But check this out. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. You can see some of the screen at the top. I guess that's where all the paint was getting in because that's all clogged. And I got to say, fellas, I'm kind of embarrassed that I had that in my equipment. That is terrible. But you know what, Jordan? I think I want to put this old filter back and do a test spray with the old filter and the old tip and kind of get a progression of how our spray pattern changes as we change parts. Why don't like we do control. this? Exactly. Okay. Why don't we do that? Let's do it. All right. Sorry, buddy. You got to go back in. No. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. It was even spraying, dude. That talks to the, I guess that talks to the power of that pump that it was able to push that paint through that filter. All right, gang, this is old tip. Old filter, both original to the gun. Let's see how it shoots. All right, you saw that filter. Looks like it's 100% clogged to me, but obviously that pump is pushing it through. And look at that. Alrighty guys, now that we have a control spray on that paper and we know how this thing is spraying, let's head to Lowe's, get a new tip, a filter, and see what else we can find. Alrighty guys, we're here at Lowe's in the Graco section. We can tell it's the Graco section because everything's locked up. So we're here for our 515 tip. And then let's see here. Let me put my glasses on. 515 right there. They're all out. Dang it, man. What? What? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you always got to dig at these stores, right? Just when you think they're out, there's one right there. But check this out. Look at that swivel adapter. It's only $30. Mm. I, I think this must be the $30 side of the case because everything's $30, right? We've been talking about one of those for a long time. A lot of you have commented that we need one because we're always fighting that hose. I think we need to get an adapter like that. Here's your tip selection chart. If you have a sprayer, you probably know that the first digit is the fan width. See the first digit is a five. There's your fan width, 10. 10 inches, 12 inches away from your work. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, look at this. Here's your filters we need for the gun. Home Depot was completely out. They have four left. Why don't we get two of them, have a spare, and we'll leave two for the next guy. Cool. Cool. All right. So we got that. Let's just get the gatekeeper to enter the super secret code here. 
We'll get a swivel adapter, go check out, and get back to the job site. All right, we're back from Lowe's. We got all our parts. We're pretty excited about them. Let's crack open that filter and check it out. Ooh, look at that filter. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's pull this whole one out of here. I put it in prime, relieve the pressure in the gun. Let's take it apart. Alrighty gang, this is the brand new filter with the original 515 tip. Let's see how it sprays. Oh, got to turn it on. So this is a good opportunity to show you what we were talking about before. Tailing or feathering is this little line right here. You shouldn't have it, but our pressure was low on the machine because it was off. This pass, there shouldn't be any. Let's check it out. So definite difference. Yep. Huge difference in the amount of paint it's putting on the, on the wall. Just look at the coverage here versus the coverage there. The filter made a huge difference. I think right now, Jordan, let's change that tip go one more pass and see what it does. Let's do it. All right. All right, changing tips couldn't be any easier. Check this out. Perfect. Here we go. New filter, new 515 tip. Wow. Okay, yep. I see an immediate difference and how even the coverage is there, but look how spotty it is there. New tip, beautiful, way to go. I think we're ready to paint this house, dude. Alrighty guys, so let's do a quick recap. This top one, old filter, old tip, both original to this machine about two years ago. Now we haven't sprayed a ton through it, and if I had to have like a odometer running in my head on this thing, like you change your oil every 5,000 miles, I would have said we're at about 3,500. But after looking at that filter, we were probably at 20,000, right? Yeah. yeah. So again, old filter, old tip, and this paint dried super fast on this paper, meaning there wasn't much product being applied. And a little feathery out here, yeah, this paper's not the best, it's kind of bouncing around, but we didn't want to paint these walls yet, so the paper worked fine. Our next section, old tip, brand new filter, much more product on there, much better coverage, and it is still drying, look at that. And our bottom one, of course, new filter, brand new tip, not near as spotty as this was. This looks like a leopard, right? You can see right through it. This is much more even, may not come across that way on the camera, but right here where Jordan and I are, we can tell it's a much more even coat of paint. So super happy with that. And you know what, Jordan? You ever wash your car and it drives better? Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, we've changed the internal parts on this thing. I think this machine needs a bath. What do you think? Want to clean it up? Yeah, I think we should. I mean, we just put all these brand new parts in it, but I mean, look at this thing, dude. Kind of like putting a cold air on your Lamborghini and going mud riding? Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? It needs a bath. All right, what are we going to use? We got this uh, citrus strip, paint and varnish strip or citrus scent. All right, pretty mild. We already tested it on the plastic on the bottom. It works great. So why don't we get to it? Why don't we make this thing look as good on the outside as it does on the inside? Let's do it. All right. Look at that, buddy. Looks almost brand new. 
And we didn't want it to look 100% brand new. When you show up on a job site with a new machine, people might think, hey, you've never used it before. But that looks a lot better. We can actually read all the dials and buttons. Not that we need to. I mean, we're kind of pros right now, right? And look what we found in the shed. This Turtle Wax Dashing Glass Cleaner. And it's got a Caribbean Crush scent. And along with the citrus scent of this stuff, this thing's smelling pretty nice. Not like we are right now. But you know what? This thing's all clean on the inside. New filter, new tip. It's all clean on the outside, and we got one more part we want to show you. You've talked about it in the comments, and this is the swivel for the hose. So why don't we throw that on there right now and see how that works. Maybe it'll save me a trip to the orthopedic surgeon to save my wrist a little bit. All right, you see the nice shiny swivel, our clean gun. And we didn't worry about cleaning the hose, did we? Nope. <laughs> but I can tell if I drape the hose behind me, it feels a little stiff, but I can tell if I do this, like I'm painting a door frame or something, I can feel it moving right there. Wait, Dad, can you do that again? I, I didn't get it on camera. Yeah, the door jam part. Nice. And then if I bring the hose in front of me and hold it, I can tell that it's pivoting. So I think with a little wear, it's gonna be fine. If I drop the hose, yeah, it's pivoting, I can tell. I'm not fighting this thing near as much, so that's awesome. But we won't know how well this thing is throwing paint down until we put some paint in it and spray some walls in the ceilings. And fortunately, Right in front of me behind Jordan is our entertainer's project. If you've been following that series, we appreciate it. And we're about ready to paint the whole half of that house with this thing. We're gonna give it a coat of primer, spray all the ceilings and maybe even the walls. And we have some cabinets to spray. And we got our new filter, our new swivel tip, a new spray tip. And this thing's looking nice and clean like it's out of the box. I'm expecting out of the box performance from it now, just like it's brand new. And we're gonna try it on this house. So please be sure to watch that video and you know what, gang? I think in the, one of the previous videos, we told you to spray your like button. I think it needs cleaning now. Get yourself some mild stripper, spray it on that like button. Make it super clean for us, just like we did this sprayer. Subscribe, ask a question, and we'll see you on the next one.